Now it's been a couple of weeks since we've done a book review, but I've got a really cool one for you today. Hello everybody, welcome to Savage Flies. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. So the book I'm talking about is by Scott Sanchez. It's called A New Generation of Trout Flies, subtitled From Midges to Mammals for Rocky Mountain Trout. Now we've tied a couple of patterns from this book and I'm really liking it so far. It was published in 2005. It's uh, still available new out there on Amazon for about $40. You can usually find used copies in the $20 range. It's 157 pages, spiral bound, good quality paper, nice beautiful color pictures throughout. So let's talk about what's in the book. The first eight or 10 pages, it's really a primer on materials and hooks. And as far as primers go, it's a pretty good one. But what I really like, he's got a couple of pages here called Start by Choosing the Correct Hook for the Shape of Your Fly. Now, I haven't seen this in any other book out there. Talks a little bit about when do you use a curve shank hook or a streamer hook, pupa hook, kind of the basics on when you use something other than the standard typical hook. So after the introduction, it's not like a typical book where you might have sections on dry flies, wets, nymphs, and streamers. He breaks it down by types of insects. He's got a chapter on caddisflies, mayflies, stoneflies, and then midges. And then within each of those chapters, he might have a couple of dryflies or nymphs from mayflies, and then the same with caddisflies. Then he has a chapter on emergers and cripples, and he finishes it off with three chapters on terrestrials and cross imitators, and then some streamers. Now it's definitely a how-to book. Take, for example, his section on his foam wing hopper. He's got a nice picture of the fly, then a little bit of history and maybe some background and information on how to fish it. Then he goes into several pictures of step-by-step -step instructions on how to tie it. So who is this book for? Well, it's definitely for someone who trout fishes and ties flies for fishing out west, but it's not just for our friends out west. You've got lots of techniques in here that will apply to patterns you could use throughout the country. I mean, a hopper is a hopper. It might be a little bit different color, different size out west, but the techniques and the pattern you tie, you know, you can use those anywhere. So is it a good book for a beginner? Well, I think it is. There are a few advanced techniques in here, but the step-by-step -step instructions are so thorough that lots of folks will be able to tie from it. Now, I should make one note. If you're a purist and don't like tying with foam or rubber, this might not be the book for you because he does use a lot of the modern synthetics in his patterns. I mean, it is called A New Generation of Trout Flies. So overall, at $40, do I recommend this book? Well, if a lot of what I just said applies to you, then yeah, I think it's a great book. But if you're a panfish or bass fisherman or only fish for trout and tailwaters in the mid-Atlantic, well, there might be a lot of patterns in here that won't apply to you. But if you're a generalist trout fisherman like I am and like learning new techniques and tips, then yeah, I think it's a book worth checking out. Okay, now for the fun part. I did pick up two copies of this book. Today is Sunday, February 27th. Let's give a copy away. And how we're gonna do that here, just leave a comment. Anywhere in your comment, put hashtag Sanchez. Pound sign, then S-A-N-C-H-E-Z. I'll let this run throughout the week. Next Friday, it's gonna be March 3rd. I'll go to the random comment picker and select a comment that uses the hashtag Sanchez. So that's it, my friends. Just my way to say thanks and give a little bit back to the fly tying community. I appreciate you watching the videos, appreciate your support. Take care. We'll see you in a couple of days.